Hello Stampers! Welcome to the craft room. Today I want to show you how to make this adorable little treat box. This is a variation on a box that was shared during Leadership Convention with Stampin' Up! And I did some modifications to it to make it look a little bit more like a little basket. So let me show you how I did it. You want to begin with your clear large scallop square bigs die and I just ran it through the big shot with a piece of crumb cake cardstock and then you can either use your simply scored tool I'm just going to use a bone folder and a ruler and what you want to do is come in to one two three the third space in between the scallops so you've got one scallop two scallops three scallops and we're going to go ahead and score straight down from that space going straight to create a score line there. Then we're going to do the same coming in from the other side. So one, two, three, and we're going to create a score line there as well. Again, I'm just using my bone folder, which is very easy with a ruler. And then we're going to turn this a quarter of the way and now we're just going to count in two scallops, so one, two, and we're going to go ahead and score a line down in between those scallops. And we're going to do the same counting in from the other side, one, two, and go ahead and score there as well. Okay, then what we want to do is just go ahead and crease on all of our score lines. Hopefully I did a pretty straight job with my ruler. So now what we need to do is a bit of cutting. So we're going to place our scallop square down with the top being the side where we came in and scored at two scallops and went down. And we're actually going to use our paper snips to cut along these score lines up to that next crease. And we're going to do it here on the top and also here on the bottom. So I'm going to start with the bottom. So again from this second scallop into the score line, second scallop into that score and crease line, and then we're going to do the same on the exact opposite side. And now what we're going to do is actually adhere our little basket together. So by cutting it in that way, you can see, hopefully, that we've got two taller sides and two shorter sides. If you cut it in a different way, like they showed at Leadership, you'll actually end up with a box that has sides all the same size. And to do that, if you wanted to, instead of cutting along these score lines where you came in two scallops, instead you would actually go ahead and cut in along these sides if you wanted to have your box be even. But again, I wanted to do a modification and make this look a little bit more like a basket. Okay, there's one last step before we go ahead and adhere our box together, and if you do this step now, it will make it a whole lot easier to attach your handle a little bit later. We're just going to bring in our paper piercing tool and our piercing mat, and what we're going to do is we're going to be making the holes for the handle. So to do that, you want to come to this middle section. So these are the larger sections that come up, just so you can see when your box goes together when we actually adhere it all together, these sides are where we're going to need our little holes. So I'm just going to open those up and it's great because there are three scallops in that middle section so you just want to put your hole by that middle scallop and I would come down probably a little bit more than a quarter of an inch down from that scallop or somewhere around a quarter of an inch down and just make a little hole and we're going to do that also here on this side. Again, we're doing this in anticipation of adding our handle once we get to that stage because if we try to do it once our box is all adhered, it becomes a little bit challenging to add the holes without squishing our box. So now we're going to adhere our box together. I'm going to use some snail. You could use your Tombow Mono Multi-Adhesive as well. I'm just going to fold in these flaps and add snail on the back side of each of these flaps. And 
And then we're just going to bring these flaps in and pull this one up and press to adhere and the same on this side as well. So now we have our little box nice and together and now we're going to go ahead and add our handle. To do that you're going to need a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock. This piece is about six inches long by an eighth of an inch and we're going to use our paper piercing mat and our paper piercing tool again and you're also going to need a couple of your silver brads and we're just going to go ahead and come up like a quarter of an inch or so and pierce a hole on each end of our strip of cherry cobbler cardstock and now we're ready to attach that to our box so we're just going to go ahead and grab a silver brad and put it through the little hole that we just pierced and then we're going to come over here to our box and feed that brad through the hole that we pierced earlier and then we're just going to spread the prongs of that brad and then we're going to bring our handle just up and over and attach this side using another brad Okay, so I've now attached my handle on both sides with small silver brads and now we're going to embellish our little box and just grab a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock and this Sending a Kiss stamp from the Petite Pears stamp set. I'm going to just use my Early Espresso stamp pad and just going to stamp that onto the Whisper White cardstock. And then we're just going to use our one inch circle punch to punch that out. Next we're going to take a scrap of cherry cobbler cardstock and we're going to take our one and a quarter inch circle punch and we're going to almost cut or punch a complete circle but you'll notice I'm leaving a very little bit at the bottom so that I'm not going to have a complete circle. I'm going to have part of a circle so that when I adhere this down I'm actually going to have this along the bottom of my box so you can see that here and I'm just going to pop this up on here with a dimensional so I'm just going to use some Tombow Mono Multi Glue and I'm going to adhere this embellishment to the bottom of the front of our box and then I'm going to take my heart to heart punch and punch out some hearts from the cherry cobbler cardstock and we're just going to adhere those to the box again using some Tombow Mono Multi Glue and I'm just going to adhere one up here and this you can do wherever you like you can adhere your hearts and I'm going to put one coming off the edge on this side you could even put one on the back back here that actually might be kind of cute so let's do that as well kind of coming off the back edge of our little box like so and now the final touch is to add a bit of seam binding ribbon and a little bit of waffle paper so we're just going to knot this seam binding ribbon right around our handle just once like so and then we're just going to clip the ends and I'm just doing a little diagonal clip there to make it look cute and then the last thing we're going to do is add just a touch of waffle paper this is the white waffle paper you could do silver or gold and I'm just gonna cut a piece of this and add it into the box and what's great about waffle paper is it's very scrunchy and pretty and so you can kinda scrunch it up you could fold it and scrunch it and again you probably want to put your chocolates in here and then you can cover them up with your little waffle paper and I would imagine you could fit I don't know at least six Hershey's Kisses in this adorable little box so there you have it a very fun and simple little chocolate holder using your petite pears sentiment and your scallop square big die. I hope you've enjoyed this project and I look forward to seeing you again very soon here in the craft room